obviously all I want to do is fight, man. You know, and I'm at the stage where I'm just like, whatever it takes, just whatever it takes. Um, you know, just get me, get me back out there. Um, that's that's all that matters to me. It's just fighting, you know, and um, it's just crazy. Um, it's just crazy. But you know what? Make sure I come back a fucking savage. Um, I'd fight Shiraz. Um, you know, I love I love Shiraz's style. He's an alpha boy. Um, you know, he's doing bits in boxing, um, and you know, he's on a, he's on a good winning streak. So, you know, um, I have no concern about fighting anybody. Do you understand? I have no concern. I'm a fighter. It's what I do. I reckon I go up to 160, smash you, bang. I go up to 160 and fight some of these guys. Some guys, you know, are, are too big. Some guys, I, I fancy my chances. Um, you know, I'm not um, not stupid in saying, you know, weight don't make a difference because bloody hell it does. But, you know, I feel like um, I feel like I'm one hell of a fighter and, uh, and you know, I love to fight. So, you know, and, and that's it at the end of the day. You know, it's funny because my last fight, I pissed 12 rounds. At pace, pissed 12 rounds. Easy work. You ain't seen me blowing, blowing no engine. You will never see me rely on my power. You will never see me not be able to be consistent through 12 rounds. I'm a 15 round fighter. So I'll train, I'll train for 12. I'll do 12 easy at the same pace I started from the first couple rounds. If not, get better. You know, when I hit my running times, I'll make sure that when I do my running times that it gets better, it don't get worse. The sixth one is quicker than the first one. The fifth one's quicker than the second one. The fourth one, that, and that's how I go. I have to get better. I can't slack. And I think when you develop develop that mentality, it's sort of the rounds become easier as the fight goes on. So for me, 12 rounds, no problem. I'm surprised people weren't saying, oh, well, you know, has he done 12 rounds so easy? You know, all of a sudden it's like, you can't knock anybody out. It's only when these other fighters fight somebody else that you realise how good I am, period. You know, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy work. My last two fights have been easy work. 10 and 12 rounds. Easy. And that's a testament to my hard work. That's a testament to my training. That's a testament to my team. That's a testament to, to all the work ethic and discipline that we put in. Despite everything that's going on. Yes, bro, what's happening? Despite everything that's going on, you've stayed dedicated. You, you stay on the ball. You try your hardest to stay focused. Irrelevant on what's going on in your life. Focus on what matters. Tips on getting as explosive. <laughs> I don't know, I thank my dad for that, man. I thank my dad. <laughs> Genuinely. And I ain't too late. I have my first amateur fight at 17. Um, mate, it is hot. Right now, I'm about light heavy. No cap. Still lean now. It's even natural, what are you talking about? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, know I just want to fight. <laughs> like, that's it. I just want to fight. I just want to get in there and fight. You know, like this, this, this whole thing about, you know, nice living and luxury living and, you know, this slow life. It's dead. It's dead. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't ready for this. <laughs> I ain't ready to sit down and enjoy the luxuries of life. You know, I miss the nitty gritty, I miss getting up and, you know, having to get up when I don't want to get up, having to get up in the freezing cold, having to get up, you know, when it's raining and I've got to do my sprints, having to diet, having to, like, that's life, you know, when you challenge yourself, that's life, you know, and, and for me, as much as I'm training hard and as much as I'm killing it and as much as I'm learning and grafting it, you know, I miss just being able to get in the ring and, and do what I do best, you know, what I feel like I'm born to do. Um, You know, uh, but it is what it is, man. Um, what I do like people to take note is, what I do like people to take in is, listen, no matter how hard life gets, no matter what life throws you, no matter how many mistakes you make or don't make, no matter what, what cards you're dealt, you just keep it moving, man. And you stay working and you stay grafting. Um, and that's it. You know, about training, I, would, I wouldn't I'd be here in, in this sort of space today, about training and, and the support I have, you know, I um, yeah, I won't be around today, you know. So yeah, Mega Sports good gym. I like the gym. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a few nice people in there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Star and Musani, mate, hope you're well. Yeah, you know, do you know what? No, do you know what? It's not even leather, Sam, yeah? It's suede, mate. It's suede. I know you don't know what leather or suede is, but you know, it's, it's suede. You know, but it's cool though, no problem. Um, I don't have a top, mate. And why am I sweating all over my seats? That's none of your damn business. Um, because I can't fight <laughs> at the moment, you know? So, listen, you can't stop what God has planned. 